Well, hey, we're talking with Bob Walaszewski from Focus on the Family's Plugged In Movie Review. This weekend, Bob, <laughs> The Rise of the Planets of the Apes, another prequel, opens this weekend. Kind of reminds me of way back in the day when the, the original came out in like the late 60s. What would you think about it? Not bad. Not bad. It's a workable. In fact, you got to stick around for the credits on this one. Really? For, because where I thought the film ended, I actually was disappointed. Then I did stay for the credits, and then they bring up two things that are very important to know for the ending, and it's like, ah, now I get it. Really? So, uh, three and a half out of five for family friendliness, a smattering of language and a little bit of violence, but really this one's not bad, especially for teens on up. At least, at least that's some potential. But here's the basic plot. We've got this guy, um, James Franco's character. He's a talented scientist who's desperate to find an Alzheimer cure. Mm -hmm. And he works in a lab. He's been experimenting on these chimpanzees. And then a tragic accident happens, and his boss scraps the whole pro project. Well, he's, of course, very disappointed. He also has a father that's got Alzheimer's, so he starts injecting his dad with the drug, taking it home, and also takes home a little chimp that was the baby of one of the prime chimpanzees in his study. Ah. And uh, then time passes, uh, and the movie lets us know that we've got two years, I think, and then it's five years. And then this little chimpanzee is now a big chimpanzee and is incredibly smart, even plays chess. But the big thing for him is that uh, this he starts rationalizing and realizing when he's shipped off to a primate center, think uh, dog pound for apes and gorillas and orangutans, mm. that he could, if he could get this drug, all his buddies there in this primate center could be pretty smart too. They find out a way to get it, they all escape, and there's a whole bunch of destructive monkey business happening when that all takes place. But uh, anyways, interesting, interesting film. It really wrestles with this whole idea when science plays God, you mm -hmm. know, and is that ever a good thing? And of course, I think by the time the film's done, you're kind of left with the idea like, nah, I don't think so, you know. So not bad, not bad film.